Have you ever pondered the weight of pride in our lives? Join me today as we delve into the Word to uncover its truths. Let us begin by lifting our hearts in praise and gratitude to our Heavenly Father for His boundless grace and wisdom that guide us each day. Our daily Bible verse is in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. In this proverb, King Solomon, under divine inspiration, unveils a profound reality about pride. He paints a vivid picture of its consequences, destruction and downfall. It's not merely a cautionary tale, but a timeless truth woven into the fabric of human existence. Consider the context of this verse within the book of Proverbs, known for its practical wisdom. Solomon, the author, imparts wisdom to his son, urging him to embrace humility and reverence for God. Pride, characterized by an inflated sense of self, blinds us to our limitations and distorts reality. It breeds arrogance, leading us down a treacherous path of self-reliance and rebellion against God. Reflecting on our present lives, we see pride's insidious grip in various forms, from the subtle boastfulness in achievements to the refusal to seek forgiveness or admit wrongdoing. It erects barriers between us and God, hindering genuine communion and obstructing His blessings in our lives. Yet there is hope. Humility, the antidote to pride, opens the door to God's grace and favor. As we humble ourselves before Him, acknowledging our frailty and dependence on His mercy, He lifts us up and grants us true wisdom to navigate life's challenges. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, we humbly come before you, acknowledging our need for your guidance and grace. Grant us the wisdom to resist pride and walk in humility, that your name may be glorified in all we do. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you, dear brothers and sisters. May the peace of God be with you always as you journey in faith. Until we meet again, may you continue to seek his truth and live in his love. God bless.